What's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Pumbia back with another Dokkan Battle video and today we're gonna do a showcase of the new and improved Shadow Dragon Saga category here on the global version of the game and for those of you that have been watching me for a while you would know that I have always said the Shadow Dragon Saga category is one of my favorite categories in the entire game and it always made me so sad guys that they never showed this category the love and respect that I feel like it deserved and, I mean, it was already a very small pool of units in the category to start with, but then they never added new units to it, so people just kind of forgot about it. But of course, all of that has changed now with the introduction of the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. So today, we're going to take this team for a spin and see just how much better it has become. So, of course, we have the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku on the screen here with a tube by the way and for those of you that are a little bit confused about how i got this tube because i never showed it on camera go check out my instagram or twitter right now and you will see basically what happened was last night i was just like chilling in my chair here on the desk um doing some singles on my tickets i was like you know what i'm probably not gonna have enough to do a multi later anyway so i'll do a single or do a couple singles and on my fourth single boom super saiyan 4 vegeta popped up on the screen, I literally jumped out of my chair. Like, I wasn't even recording or anything. I was just like sitting here by myself, doing summons, and I screamed and jumped out of my chair because I was so freaking shocked. And I, I was like, what is happening? Like, this doesn't happen to me, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is just the craziest luck I've had in a long time. So, uh, of course, very thankful for it. Go check it out, guys. And uh, that's the story behind the dupe there. But going back to the team now, this is the team we're bringing, guys. Of course, we got the Omega Shenron lead uh, right here, rainbowed, awesome. And uh, we also have LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. I'm also bringing the uh, Tech Super Saiyan 4 Goku for some extra damage. Um, the Sin Shenron is here as the best linking partner for our Omega Shenron. And lastly, this slot is kind of... You know, you can put whatever you want there. I put the Pan because she's pretty much the best support unit the category has. But if you want to, you can also put like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta there for some counters and extra damage. Or uh, maybe GT Trunks if you like. But I personally like to have at least one support unit on all my teams at all times. So we're going to put the Pan there. Alright, so that's team guys. Let's jump in and see uh, what happens. And spoiler alert. It's going to be good. It's going to be really good. This team is actually very, very strong. Now, for a while, people never ran it because, like I said, they didn't really promote it, right? They didn't put any new units in it or many. I think the only one they added in the last, like, year or two was um, this guy right here, Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. So, you know, it, it stands to reason that people just, like, didn't want to run it because there were no new exciting units. But now... We have new and exciting units, so uh, I feel like a lot of people are going to start running it. And uh, this new this video might give you a good idea of what the team's capable of, and maybe also if you're on the fence about whether or not you want to summon for the Elder Super Saiyan 4s, this could be a little showcase for them too, since they're both on the category, uh, or both on the team rather. Oh, as far as the team goes, by the way, um, the rotations are going to be uh, Omega Shenron and Sin Shenron, and... Uh, if you're not aware, these two guys are actually two of the best pairs, or like make up the one of the best pairs in the game as far as links go, because with their links fully activated, they give each other, I believe, up to 65% attack, as well as, um, oh, what is it, 65% attack, like 25% defense, and plus 2 to 4 key. I, I don't know the exact numbers, it's been a while since I've looked, but they give each other like a crap ton of boosts so that's why uh we put them together even though sin shenron himself is not that good anymore um the boost he gives to omega shenron makes him worth being on this team for sure and of course he's rainbow for me too so he's better than your you know free dupe or your average sin shenron i guess and uh this other rotation will be the super saiyan 4 so super saiyan 4 goku and super saiyan 4 vegeta and uh once again those guys just link up insanely well they pretty much have the exact same links, I think, with the exception of one. Let me just check real quick to be sure, because I don't want to, you know, tell you guys something that's not real or not true, and people in the comments are going to, like, kill me for it. So let me check real quick, guys. I think they have all the same links, except for one. Yeah, uh, Paper Battle, Saiyan Roar, Super, Super Saiyan, GT, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power. I think the only difference is Saiyan Pride, and Goku will have... 
all the links except for Sever Saiyan Pride, he has Kamehameha. So that's the only difference. Otherwise, they have the exact same links, which is why they're so good together. And this applies pretty much to all the Super Saiyan 4 Vegetas and Gokus. Um, I mean, not the free to play one, but all the other ones pretty much have that link set. So they all link well with each other. So if you want to link like LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku with the uh, AGL uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, that works really well. Um, also, the LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta links very well with the other two uh, non-LR Gokus, Super Saiyan 4 Gokus in the game, so um, you can match, you know, mix and match if you guys don't have both LRs. But of course, ideally, the best situation you can have is both LRs in one rotation. Um, so I'm going to try to get those guys together as soon as possible. Um, once we get our rotation sorted out, it's going to be good. But, you know, you never start the stage with the rotations you like. Or, I mean, at least most times. It's very rare. So, um, yeah, look forward to that. Look forward to that. Man, I am so freaking happy right now. <laughs> I'm so freaking happy that this category is actually relevant again. Okay, I'm going to stop talking for a second. We're going to turn up the volume real quick. Here we go. And uh, just, just enjoy. Just enjoy, guys. Here we go. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh my god, I, I love these units. I'm so freaking happy I pulled him. And I, uh, let me be clear, guys. I, I'm not trying to flex on anybody. I know there are plenty of people out there that got shafted and are sad right now about their pulls. And for those people that, you know, that happened to, I'm really sorry. I feel very bad for you, but... Um, you know my history with these like celebrations, right? Like, they don't usually go this well for me, and you know, usually it takes me at least four or five different videos, different collabs with people, just different summoning sessions to get the units I want, and a lot of times that still doesn't happen. So, like, example with uh, Gogeta and Broly, right? I didn't get either of those guys. So, um, this time around, we're in the, my first summoning session, my first stream. If you guys haven't seen it yet, go check it out. It's already live with my girlfriend. Um, dude, like, we got both. And I'm still trying to process exactly, like, what happened there. And, uh, of course, like, <laughs> things got even crazier with last night with that single with the ticket, which, you know, I, I still can't comprehend. Like, my, my brain is physically not capable of processing all that fire that was presented to me so that's that's still crazy to me but um either way man i'm just like on, on this high right now man like <laughs> i'm probably not gonna get i'm not probably not gonna get over it for a while i'm really not i just oh man you know okay that's enough that's enough i'm gonna, I'm gonna stop i i know you know you guys don't want to hear this um you guys prefer when i get shafted because it's more fun it's more entertaining and you guys can relate for those of you that did, do get shafted but let me tell you, I've been in that place before. I've been in that place before. And um, one thing I will definitely say is that when you are um, being shafted or you got shafted, it feels like you're the only person in the world that has gotten shafted. And uh, the reason for that, honestly, is because people are just generally more vocal when they're um, when they get blessed, when they get lucky, when they pull fire, right? When they pull exactly what they, what they want versus um, when they get shafted, right? So that's why when you, when you like look at comments on YouTube videos or in streams of people chatting, you hear people all the time saying, yo, I pulled two LRs in the same multi. I pulled both LR Super Saiyan 4s in, you know, 180 stones or uh, first multi or whatever, right? But that's not representative of all the people, man. Let me just tell you, like, there are plenty of people out there that got shafted that are just not necessarily willing to talk about it because they'd rather just, like, be low-key about it. But then people who get get blessed, get crazy luck, are much more vocal. So just keep that in mind, guys. If you got shafted, if you, if you got, you know, very bad pulls and you're upset about it and you feel like you're the only one, you're not, man. More than half the people will be shafted. They just don't talk about it that much. Okay, uh, let me focus here for a second. I'm actually going to use a Ghost Usher because I always, always forget on this stage that the Goku actually one shot to you and I keep dying on this stage when trying to do showcases, I have to restart, so um, yeah, I made sure that this time around, it wasn't gonna happen to me. It wasn't gonna happen to me. And uh, hopefully Omega can finish him off, maybe with a crit or something like that. Okay, no crit this time, that's okay. Additional, okay, with a crit. Could have been super, but that's fine. Um, you know, one thing I want to say about my boy Mega Shenron is that he is 
criminally, criminally underrated. I've said this multiple times already, but let me just say it one more time, just for good measure. Omega Shenron is a very underrated category lead, man. And I know some people, you know, respect him. Some people know how good he is and all that stuff. But there are also so many people out there that are like, yo, I pulled Omega Shenron and act like they got shafted. I'm like, dude, you pulled still one of the best units in the game, man. This guy can super up to three times. He can get up to like a 2 million attack stat uh, per super on this team. Um, and he's just great. So uh, <laughs> don't feel bad about pulling Omega Shenron. Okay. Um, let's turn up the volume once again. We're gonna go with Vegeta this time, guys. Here we go. Man, so good. <laughs> So good. Um, oh, you might have noticed that I have elected to go with the um, Japanese lines as opposed to English lines, and I'm still undecided about which one I prefer right now. I, I think they're both good. I think the voice, act voice actors both do a great job. Um, but I've always been more of a sub guy over a dub guy myself, so I think I still prefer to keep the Japanese lines, but it's also cool to switch it to English sometimes, and the cool thing is you can switch between English and Japanese like instantaneously, right? You can just go into your uh, menu and change the, the language between English and Japanese with a click, so it's not gonna be too difficult. Um, so maybe I'll just do that whenever I'm feeling like some English, I'll switch to English, and then whenever, whenever I'm feeling some Japanese, I'll switch over or keep it Japanese. Um, but let me know in the comments down below actually if you guys have heard the voice lines for both English and Japanese. Which one do you prefer? Which one do you guys think sounds better between the Japanese lines and the English lines. I think I already know the answer before I ask this, but I'm curious, just, you know, just let me know, just let me know. Um, I think most people though are gonna say the Japanese lines, mainly because they kind of screwed up, they kind of dropped the ball on the Vegeta voice line. And it's not the voice actor's fault by any means. I really don't think it's the voice actor's fault, like, at all, because they did a great job. Like, the voice itself sounds great, it's just the line sounds kind of dumb. You know what I mean? Like, the fact that he says now twice, um, people have pointed it out a lot, and yeah, I think it could have been written a lot better. But you can't blame that on the... Oh crap, I missed one. My bad, guys. Uh, you can't blame that on the voice actor. You can't blame that on... I think it's still Christopher Sabat, right? That's voicing the Vegeta line here. Um, because it sounds awesome. It's just like, why did they make him say now twice? It sounds super corny, it sounds super cheesy, and there are a lot of lines in Dragon Ball actually that sound cheesy and corny, but that just takes it to a different level, and I don't love that. I don't love that, but I think it still sounds really cool, and um, yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm still undecided. I'm not sure if I like Japanese or English more here, but um, they both sound great, so we'll just leave it at that for now. Let me know your opinions in the comments down below. I know everybody has uh, their own two cents to add to this conversation. Um, but at the end of the day, I mean, we can't really do anything about it, so <laughs> it doesn't matter too much, I guess, what we feel, because the lines are gonna stay the same regardless. They're not gonna change it just because people are like, yo, I don't like this line, Re rewrite it or something. They're not gonna change the animation, they're not gonna change the lines or anything like that, but, um, you know, it's still interesting sometimes to have a conversation about it. So, uh, yeah, like I said, let me know. Okay, so let's uh, attack Ballsack Head here and uh, give him, uh, let's give him these orbs. And uh, let's see, I guess it doesn't really matter who we attack here. Uh, let's attack Cacao. There we go. Oh crap, I should have saved those orbs for Vegeta. Ah, oh, that's my bad, that's my bad. Oh, one other thing I want to ask. I guess I've already asked this multiple times and you guys don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Um, you're probably... Actually, no, I mean, if you got blessed, you're probably not tired of this. But let me know how your summons went. Because not every, like most people did summon yesterday, but not everyone did. So if you were one of those people that maybe waited a day, um, you know, before you summoned, then let me know now how your summons went after and uh, whether or not you got shafted or blessed. I don't always want to hear just people getting blessed, man, because I know those are the vocal people. I already talked about this before. Those are the people that are going to let you know without you asking you know, what they got. They're gonna try to flex on you. But if you're one of those people that got shafted too, um, don't be afraid to let me know uh, and vent, man. This is a safe space, and this is a place where nobody's gonna judge you. 
um, for the amount of stones you spent or whatever decisions you made. Just, just, just talk about it. We're, we're all supportive here. At least I am. So if I see your comment, I'll be very supportive. I promise. So uh, yeah, just let me know, guys. Let me know. And as far as summons go for me personally, um, some people have asked me like, Tiger, are you still gonna go back in? We're gonna do some more summons, and I probably will. I probably will, but um, I'm not 100% sure yet. But I think I do have uh, a, a potential collab uh, lined up with um, two people actually, one with my boy Scott Herman and one with a YouTuber that I haven't collabed with. Uh, so stay tuned for that, guys. Um, we haven't set a date yet, so that's why I'm saying like I'm not 100% sure when or if it's gonna happen, but we've talked about it, so there's a chance it could go through. And uh, that's gonna be fun too. So I mean, with, with the collabs, I obviously I, I do it for the summons. It, that's fun. I do it for the content, but it's also fun to just like, you know, like talk trash and <laughs> and um, you know just like talk to someone about Dokkan and stuff like that. So that's also part of why I love doing collabs, and uh, I do look forward to those. So if those happen to um, work out, then expect some more summons on the channel. I'm not gonna do any more streams for it. Uh, I might do one for a giveaway actually, so not my main account, but like a farmed account from my friends over at Ultra Dokkan Discount that I'll be giving away to one of you guys. And while Vegeta is actually doing his final flash attack, let me just pay the bills real quick. Uh, if you guys are interested in picking up a farmed account that has thousands of stones, they have lots of options there, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 stone accounts for super, super reasonable prices, I would recommend that you check out Ultra Dokkan Discount in my description down below. And if you see something you like there, um, you can use my discount code TIGER right now for 20% off your purchase. So this is a limited time thing, usually it's only 10%, but for the 4 year anniversary, they bumped it up to 20%, so use my code TIGER for 20% off your purchase. And when I say reasonable prices, guys, I mean like super reasonable prices. Like a 4,000 account or 4,000 stone account right now on global is going to cost you, uh, what was it, uh, I think $12.50. $12.50, use my code on top of that for 20% off, so it's basically $10. I think that's how the math works out. I believe. Uh, mental math has never been my strong suit, so if I'm a little bit off, don't <laughs> don't make fun of me. But uh, yeah, I, I think that's the price right now, so it's, pretty, it's a pretty crazy deal. Um, I've seen a lot of people pull crazy stuff on those accounts. Um, Rainbow Vegeta, Rainbow Go Goku. Um, LR Broly, all that good stuff. So, uh, like I said, guys, check it out. That's all I gotta say about that. Just to pay the bills, you guys understand. Um, every single time my code is used, it supports me. I get a little bit of money that I can use for the channel, for stones, for content for you guys. So, it's kind of a win win situation if you think about it. But that's all I gotta say about that, guys. Let's get back to the showcase here. And uh, we're absolutely killing it, of course. I think this is gonna be the last stage I do here. I could do the rest of the boss rush, but you guys already know how it goes. So, I don't really see the. Oh, was that it? Oh, I thought there was more. Okay, never mind. I guess we're done then. <laughs> we're done for today's showcase, guys. And uh, this is pretty much the best Shadow Dragons team you can run. I mean, I'm not sure about like optimally, like what the best damage output would be if I like would it, would it? It would probably be more damage output. I'm guessing if I switched out Pan for Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Um, but generally speaking, this is the team I like to run. This is like my preferred composition for this team with the two LRs, with the uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, with the Tech Super Saiyan 4 Goku, with the Sin Chenron as the linking partner and the Pan as support. But like I said, if you switch out Pan for Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, damage might be a little bit more, but I like the I like the support. So I'm gonna keep it as is, and I absolutely love this team. Expect to see this team on a lot more videos and a lot more streams in the coming days because it has once again become my favorite category, my favorite team in this entire game. And uh, of course, a big part of it is because I pulled the Super Saiyan 4s, uh, which I'm very thankful for. Very, very uh, blessed right now. Feeling very blessed right now. So uh, let's hope that continues. Um, and I don't get just like shafted for the next year. Because my friend was like, yo, when he, saw, when he saw that ticket, the single ticket that I pulled for the Super Saiyan 4 Goku, he was like, yo, there goes your luck for the rest of the year, man. I'm like, I hope you're not, I hope you're wrong, but you could be right. So I'm really scared now. But anyways, guys, Hope you enjoyed the showcase. Hope you guys um, like the team that I used. And uh, that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. As always, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you'll like what you see. 
then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's all I got to say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back very soon with more content as always. Lots of stuff to just talk about and film for the four year anniversary. So tons of content coming up. If you guys wanna stay up to date with that, then once again, subscribe, join the Tiger Squad, like the damn video, and that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.